We are Cindy and Eddie. And this is Squeeze the Day. This was the view we woke up to. And it's pretty fantastic. Before we take you to this beach, we have to show you how we got there, and then we can show you where we're going. We love to travel, so that's what we're doing. And sometimes we come across something that's pretty amazing. For example, this town we're on our way to visit. It's right outside the Seattle area, and you wouldn't even realize it was this close except for the fact that we're looking at a map. All we came here for was breakfast. But enough of that, let's continue on towards that epic view. We're going to make a couple stops along the way and show you things like this. After some amazing sights, we finally arrive to our beach. This is where we're going to explore a little bit, leave an environmentally friendly mark, then settle in for the night. And you can watch this sunset at the end of this video. Morning. This is our view as we woke up this morning. It's pretty fantastic. And how we were able to do that is we slept right here on the beach with all these other people. Now we're going to go do some exploring. Why don't you come along with us? We absolutely loved staying here. However, we quickly learned that our views were just going to keep getting better. So stay tuned, there's more. Seattle is a port city, but one of the unique things about Seattle is the type of port it is. It's actually really deep inside the state. It can take a ship a long time to actually get to Seattle from the Pacific Ocean due to the amount of water it has to cross. Because of this, there is a need for a lot of ways to move between islands and peninsulas within these waterways. This is where ferries and bridges become important in the Seattle area, and Seattle has a lot of ferries. Different ferries come in different shapes and sizes, and the one that we are on is not the largest one, but it's a decent sized. So we're going to walk around a little bit and explore it because this is the first time we've been on a ferry inside of Seattle. There's plenty of seating to go around and a lot of cargo space and the cargo hold for our vehicles. As soon as you disembark, get in the right lane, turn right, and that'll take you right into Port Townsend. Welcome to Port Townsend, which is what you're looking at behind us right here. We're going to go explore around here a little bit. We're taking you with us. You know we're going to start off with coffee before we go anywhere. So that's what we did. We had to find the best coffee with the best view and quite possibly the best pastries too. So you got to check this place out if you're in the area. Now we can go. Port Townsend has a rich, vibrant history, very much worth exploring, especially if you're interested in anything about how to get Shanghai. Look that up, let us know what you think. It's got something to do with this below. There's a below ground shop area. This is where people would get Shanghai to. They used to have tours of these tunnels. Unfortunately, they aren't running them at the moment. Now that we've done that, let's go see what the rest of this town has to offer. And wouldn't you guess, we found some place to climb. Let's go check it out up here. came from down there and we're gonna go up those steps and in case anybody's curious about what's going on around here now you know there's actually a history on why there's two different levels to this city you should definitely read up on it 
it's interesting. We get to the top of the stairs and we've discovered something, but before we go and talk about that, we want to show you what we see from up here. We got something coming after this, so stay tuned. That's the fire bell tower. We saw from the lower level, so we were curious and we're going to go check it out. That's the information on it. Pause it if you want to read. And that is the view from the fire bell tower. They have these displays throughout the city so you can learn a lot of the history here. Part of the adventures of traveling is sometimes you run into something really cool and today we ran into something really cool. A farmer's market. Imagine that. <laughs> We did a real quick walk around, taking a look at everything that was here. It's going to be standard farmer's market stuff here. A lot of fresh Arts and crafts stuff, jewelry. Then they have a couple of things that are being cooked. They have crab cakes, Bavarian bratwurst. They have a sushi chef. And this is what we decided to get for lunch. Which, by the way, was really good. That's our finished pancake. Stay tuned for our next video as we explore Olympic National Park. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell for notifications so that you can continue to follow along with us as we continue on this adventure. And as always, squeeze the day and be well.